un nouveau pour la troisième fois de la journée ici à Lanzarote. Nous nous apprêtons à saluer, comme il se doit, Jérémy Bakshaw, le concurrent d'Afrique du Sud, bateau numéro 7. Bateau Oleana que vous connaissez déjà de la précédente Golden Globe Race parce qu'il appartenait, vous le savez bien, à Arwig. Donc le bateau est resté à Cap Town et est revenu au Sable de l'Aune et en Europe avec Jérémy Bakshaw qui est en train en ce moment de baisser ses voiles avant. Euh, il s'apprête à prendre le riz dans la grande voile pour passer la bouée qui se trouve juste derrière moi à quelque chose comme 300 mètres. Nous l'avons accueilli un petit, peu, un petit peu plus tôt au, au niveau du phare et il est euh, très organisé. Il sait absolument... What's the log done? Uh, yeah, the log. Euh, il est très organisé, il sait exactement ce qu'il a à faire et puis, on, et puis je pense qu'il n'est pas très très bavard mais on va voir cela tout à l'heure et je passe la parole à Don Yeah, so uh, Jeremy and Oliana, he's looking for the yellow boy but he can't see it, I've told him where it is way up to port here, so uh, that's okay This uh, big story behind this one, it was uh, raced in the 2018 GGR by Arvig and uh, unfortunately was dismasted off Cape Town Uh, Jeremy, of course, is from Cape Town, South Africa, so uh, when uh, Ari uh, sailed it back to Cape Town under jury rig, it was left there, and uh, uh, a few years later, that was the boat that, um, that you're looking at now that, that Jeremy bought, and he rebuilt it again, and uh, uh, he's got new sails, and new bits and pieces, of, you know, most of it's been rebuilt, so looking very good. It was a very fast boat um, previously, and uh, Jeremy's been doing pretty well. So, uh, quite happy to be here in Lanzarote. This is the Rubicon Marina um, film drop. Rubicon Marina is just behind the boy and they're helping us with the rib and a few other bits and pieces as well. So, happy to have that. And when uh, he's already dropped his stay sail, uh, just sailing under boomed out uh, Genoa and uh, Reef Main, when he gets to the boy, he'll get rid of the Genoa and sail slowly and then we'll come alongside and have a chat. So. Uh, quite certain he's happy to be here. He hadn't heard a lot of the news of late with uh, Guy de Boer and uh, we just updated him just a minute ago on the placings so he was happy to see where he was in the fleet and um, yeah for now uh, once he's done this deal it's flight sailing home for Jeremy. Next film drop will be in Cape Town so he's quite happy to uh, uh, contemplate that. Knows these waters pretty well so he'll be going as fast as he can I'm sure. Voilà ce que Don nous disait à l'instant, et puis vous pouvez déjà le voir de toute façon à l'image, c'est qu'il a déjà enlevé euh, une des voiles, il vient le génois pour euh, le genaker, je crois qu'on dit en français. Aïe, 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 il va falloir que je revise mes traductions, je connais les termes techniques en anglais mais pas en français. Donc il se dirige vers la bouée, ensuite il, il baissera aussi la dernière voile. Euh, Don racontait aussi ce que je vous disais tout à l'heure, l'histoire de ce bateau qui était un bateau rapide dans la dans la GGR 2018, euh, Oleana, et puis, euh, et puis il nous rappelait ce qui est très vrai, qu'après cet arrêt ici, euh, Jeremy mettra cap sur l'Afrique du Sud, sur Cap Town, sa ville, euh, la ville où il habite, donc euh, sans doute que pour lui, c'est bah, peut-être pas le même sentiment, parce que d'accord, il reste un tour du monde à faire, mais au milieu, il y a, il y a Cap Town, donc on verra bien ce qu'il nous dira. Pour l'instant, comme vous pouvez le voir à l'image, il, il s'organise et puis je le regarde et il est méticuleux, il sait ce qu'il fait, il ne parle pas. Fait... C'est toujours ça, c'est impressionnant, vous savez, de, de les voir arriver et puis vous le voyez avec nous euh, à chacune des arrivées, qu'elles soient de jour ou de nuit, sans même leur parler, avant même de leur parler, dans leur manière d'agir, de s'occuper du bateau, on sent un peu de leur caractère, de leur personnalité. Et même si je ne connais pas beaucoup euh, Jeremy Bakshaw, je pense que c'est pas un bavard, que c'est un navigateur méticuleux qui fait son job, qui continue sa route. Hop, le log donne. Okay. Et, puis, et puis lui aussi, il a derrière le bateau, c'est pour cela qu'on crie de temps en temps le log. Euh, derrière son bateau, il a donc ce log. Euh, cette, euh, cette petite hélice au bout au, 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 3 mètres qui traîne 3 mètres derrière le bateau qui mesure les distances et à laquelle nous devons faire attention pour ne pas lui abîmer le matériel avec nous dans le bateau comme tout à l'heure euh, le couple qui nous a beaucoup aidé ils sont hollandais ils, ils naviguent ici d'île à à Lanzarote et euh, 
euh, aux Canaries et, et donc euh, ils sont aussi avec nous cet après-midi pour voir arriver Jérémy Bakshaw. Ils connaissent, euh, comme beaucoup d'entre vous, bien l'histoire de la GGR et ils sont contents, comme vous, comme nous, de les approcher de près, ces navigateurs, et de les voir euh, arriver ici. Dans leur premier drop point après deux semaines de navigation. Getting ready for the jive at the moment. Uh, we'll have to jive around and the main boom will fly across and uh, then he'll make his course uh, back down. Always the question, will he go down to the east or the west of the next islands uh, yeah. when they leave here? Seems, to, seems to be a bit of potluck because, uh, uh, anyway, we'll see. Still only about 10 to 15 knots, but uh, yeah. I mean more 10 than 15. But there's a puff of 15 at the moment. Okay. okay, so we're almost there. 20 minutes, so we have to fly past. So he's got a got a wind pilot a servo pendulum wind vane system rather than a hydro vane, and he's got his Watt and Sea water generator in the water at the moment, and towing the log, of course. He's got a Permanent um, stainless steel boarding ladder on the port side aft. We will well. take them. Yeah. He's showing us. Yeah, he has the letter. So we'll uh, get on. On, on va aller l'approcher, récupérer ses courriers. Qu'est-ce qu'elle est belle la lumière sur l'eau aujourd'hui, c'est impressionnant. Don disait aussi tout à l'heure qu'il n'a pas un hydrovan comme les autres, il a un autre type de, de pilote automatique. Mais de ceci, nous en parlerons plus tard. Le log, oui, oui, ça, oui, yeah, oui, non. Il nous montre son log et on va essayer de récupérer ces euh, lettres qui, qui se trouvent dans un paquet de de, 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 de on dirait, de nourriture. Alors, Dom lui demande C'est une organisation. C'est une Je pense qu'il un gars qui vraiment He arrived here at the lighthouse at one o'clock. Yeah. Local time. Yeah. Yeah. So everything's good on board. Boat's yeah, okay. Everything's fine. You'll see I've made a note on that uh, media thing there. The SD cards are too high tech, I think, for my little camera. All oh, right. They they don't format in it. Yeah. So I need um, really basic SD cards. And I've got one in my <laughs> grab bag that I spoke to you about on the phone the other day. Oh, yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah, if you yeah. could seal it again or should I just leave it? It's, it's got footage on it from my delivery up from Cape Town. Uh, probably just I, leave it. I, I can't use it. I haven't got another SD card for to use on the way there. Yeah. And I've got lots of little little ones that I can use with a little camera. Yeah, 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 exactly. Um, okay, so let's just keep considering that. So you got cards at the moment? I've got lots of little cards, the, the baby ones. Little the micros? Ones. Yeah. And they fit? Yeah, they, they, they fit in the little waterproof camera that I've got. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Alright, we'll just stick with that. Yeah. To be quite honest, with all the excitement on last night, I forgot to get the gear to reseal everything. So, uh, uh, yeah, it was a busy night last night. But anyway, sure. that's cool. And you maintain your normal status then, so that's good. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. So, how's, um, how's the uh, wind pilot been going, alright? Fantastic. Yeah, good, good. And your log, the log, the log seems to be uh, your walker's log. Sometimes I don't want to believe it when it tells me I'm only sort of doing <laughs> three knots. <laughs> but you yeah, just fair enough. Believe it, uh, yeah. And how's your navigation? Like sextant work? Um, I've done very little sextant. I've, I've had two days where I've done celestial fixes. Yeah. And they've been very, very close. Yeah. Um, but we've seen the ship just about every day, and yeah. Uh, and my DR has been very good. So yeah, perfect. Yeah. yeah. And um, how about weather forecasting? Still, I haven't had much joy with weather faxes. Um, yeah. I, I intend to spend some time doing that now. And as we get closer to Rio, I believe it's a good station there. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. All 
all right. Everything still looks brand new. It is. It is brand new. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. How would you describe your uh, Bay of Biscay experience? Uh, the third time, unlucky. I've had two fantastic crossings, and then the third one was awful. <laughs> yeah, I pretty mean, ugly. Eh? Them on, so I had 39 hours worth of move at more than one knot. Yeah. And I had um, several couple of days where we were just swimming into the yeah. most unbelievable sea. Yeah. So it wasn't ideal, but it was, we really had the same options. You made reasonably good times again. Everyone did pretty well. Everyone hated it, by the way. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure they did. Yeah. So were you worried about Damien going back? Have you heard that? I heard something about that. Yeah, yeah. he had a, a bolt broke on the mount of the hydrovane. The bolt snapped. Been catching any fish or trying to? Um, I did, but then um, I watched the sea uh, generator uh, took oh. over and sliced the line before I could get the fish aboard. Uh. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it was a good evening, but anyhow. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's all right. Well, the boat looks good, that's for sure. So you're drying it out. So has it been damp down below? Like got no, the windows open? Not too bad. It's just nice to be fresh air through there. Yeah. That's all right. So no leaks. Yeah, a few little just trips, yeah, nothing serious. I mean, and yeah. if that was the worst biscuit could throw at us, then it's not bad at all. Yeah. Is there anything you're missing at the moment? Fresh fruit. Fresh food? <laughs> I had fruit on board for well over a month, and then I told you the other day, it just all, it ripened all on the same day. I think it had been frozen. And yeah. Just suddenly it started melting, and <laughs> I had to throw away two bags of er apples and two bags of oranges. Oh wow. That's terrible. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a bit boring. Anyway. Did all you, good. Did you get all the good. message about my phone that stopped working? Yeah, we've, we've act, uh, we just sent them a message to activate the second uh, unit. So uh, don't take the SIM out yet. Uh, so it'll be your second phone. Yeah, so uh, that should, it was came on the weekend. So because it's not an emergency, I'm not sure where, exactly when, but I think you'll be right on Monday. Okay. So just check the phone on Monday yeah. and it should be uh, active. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, and yeah. then you know you've got the third sim, yeah. so that if something goes wrong, then you'll be able to, uh, with the second phone, you can put your third sim in the first phone, uh, but you save that because you've got to authorise it first, you know. <laughs> the, um, it was the, the second hand phone that just died in the middle of the yeah. SMS. The, the one I'm using now is a brand new one. So yeah. It should be okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yep. Yeah. That's cool. So, what, what time did Kirsten come through? Last right. night. Last night. She was uh, six. six uh, what time? Three, four, three, three, or, three or four in the morning. Yeah, three, yeah something like ah, that. I was thinking he asked wh what was her position. Uh, yeah, the, she was six, I think. I lose track now. So you got no, Simon, you've got Tapio, you've got. Um, I just need to know how many hours I need to make. Pat, <laughs> Avalis thing. I think she was seventh or something. Yeah, she wasn't happy with her position. Yeah, who is? Yeah, she's yeah. a bit down on that, but yeah. uh, but you know, it's a long way yet, yeah. long way to go. Yeah. So and she'd be putting in some very high high average speeds, you know, up around seven seven nine and things like that. Fantastic. It's yeah. pretty fast. Yeah, it was good <laughs> conditions for her boat. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, and you've been doing. Everyone's been doing pretty well, all things considered. So yeah. not too bad. You know, most people have gone east or west of Fuerteventura. Yeah. Oh we, oh, we can't really say, but... Uh, you, you all ask the same question. <laughs> all of you. It's two questions. I'm just curious. Yeah. I'm just curious. Well, let me, let me see. There's uh, one side is favoured more than the other side. Does that help? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I know Ertan's gone east because he, he phoned me and well, he radioed yeah. me and said he had. Um, and it's been potluck, you know, they don't even know why they're sailing up to the boy and then all of a sudden they say, ah, I seem to be pointing that way, I think I'll go that way, yeah, or if I seem to be pointing to this way. way. You can actually catch some sleep up as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, anyway, so it's a bit mixed. 
it's a bit mixed. Have you been getting uh, like BBC World Service and things like that for news? You know, I've, I've actually sort of gone a bit off grid and I haven't really been listening to the radio or anything. Yeah. I've heard the Queen died. I don't know who's in charge of Australia now. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not sure. That'll be interesting to catch up for the years ahead. You know. Um, I, I haven't really been keeping up with the news. And, yeah. Um, so it's been so, nice. I was just, as of yesterday, just getting into the zone, you know, and just enjoying being out there and then the shock of getting into this like <laughs> neo whatever you call it here is just awful <laughs> yeah yeah no, I need to get away and go and get some sleep now following in the footsteps of Matessia <laughs> <laughs> and his and his film yeah. drops but anyway part of the fun you got plenty of fans that will be watching this keen to see you yeah. say good day yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah how are we doing all the time well good <laughs> so Eight minutes. Uh, oh. Eight minutes. Five minutes. Ah. Eight. Eight minutes. Yeah, oh, but he's can... starting late. You can. I think you can put five minutes because he started. <laughs> you want just one three minutes. <laughs> yes. Is that because you are very, very, very an impatient, impatient to go to Cape Town, mm. to home? <laughs> you guys are all going to be in Cape Town. Yes. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. Toby down there. Yeah, we'll have to yep. radio me a few days with some hot tips. Yeah, exactly, yeah. something like that. Yeah. Anyway, you know that you know that water more than most, so uh, yeah. you know. Um, can I aim at that corner over there? Sorry, can I aim at that corner over there? Yeah, I yeah. Want to do what I do. Yeah, you can go for whatever. Yeah, you can go on course. You can be doing whatever you want right now. You know. Alors, pour vous traduire un petit peu pendant qu'il se prépare, si j'ai le temps avant que Don reprenne la parole. I just speak French, so yeah, I think yeah. you yep. keep going in English whenever you are. Uh, yeah, yeah. uh, juste pour traduire un peu, si je n'ai pas tout oublié, nous avons plaisanté un peu sur le fait qu'il va à la maison à Cap Town. On lui a demandé un peu comment ça se passe le bateau, la routine. Il a, comme tous les autres, détesté le, lui aussi cette semaine dans le golfe de Gascogne. C'est un peu le live le plus. Nobody got an SD card in your camera that you're not using or in your camera bag. I can't hear. You've got an SD card in your camera bag, maybe that you're not using. No, 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 no. Uh, you'd lose your unsupported status if we pass one over. I don't know, but it's, yeah. I mean, some people get to talk to their partners, other people get an SD card, it depends on where you're looking at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's the same in 68, that's the problem, you know, they couldn't get letters, so uh, the best we can do is um, uh, for communications. When you get to Hobart, we can you can talk to friends, we put, a, put an iPad up, but we can't pass anything over on board, so. So you just get less movie. <laughs> Sorry? You'll just get less movie. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's a challenge, but anyway. Um, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Donc, donc du coup, euh, du coup euh, voilà, on racontait un peu le golf de Biscay. On, il a toujours son temps qui regarde parce qu'il est très pressé de s'en aller. Il est très pressé de s'en aller. Et That's a big plus. Some of the boats not so rough. Yeah, a lot of them had leaks. <laughs> a lot of wet boats. Yeah. <laughs> so you're yeah. doing all right. It's not fun. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. All right, we'll pull away, and you can get yourself organised, and I'll get you. Should only have about you know, you know another two minutes or something. Yeah. So uh, putting up some sails. Yeah. We'll leave you to your egg timer, your kitchen <laughs> timer. Promise not to go fast until the timer. Runs. Yeah, exactly. All right, so give it heaps and stay safe and enjoy the ride and uh, the solitude and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. And we'll see you in Cape Town, eh? Indeed. And we'll catch you on the blower. Indeed. All right. Um, so I, I can just wait for the phone and how will I know it's active? I just keep uh, it Just try and make a call. Basically, um, I'd imagine it'll be... YB message you. Yeah, well, YB message you when, when we know it's on, okay? Yeah, sure. cool. All right. Okay, we're going to pull away a bit. Voilà, on va s'éloigner maintenant pour le laisser s'organiser et partir. Vous l'avez compris, il nous a sorti son œuf de cuisine pour mesurer le temps, pour être sûr et certain 
qu'on le laisse, qu'on le garde pas plus de 20 minutes. Et là, il va remettre ses voiles. C'était amusant de le voir. Jérémy est, vous l'avez vu, avant, pas très bavard, mais en même temps, euh, moi personnellement, j'aime énormément son sourire, euh, son organisation, son côté calme, très esprit de la lenteur, je dirais, en le regardant aujourd'hui. Et finalement, peut-être un vrai solitaire, peut-être était-ce pour cela qu'il était si précis de repartir et de quitter Don et ses questions techniques. Yes, he absolutely enjoys his solitude. <laughs> oh, you start to understand French a little bit, huh? Well, it's the same place you say it. Ah, uh, it's the second time you say the same. I think we are on the, we, we the are getting, wavelength. thanks to the French and English live yeah. on the GGR, donors start to speak French or understand or something. Petit français, s'il vous plaît. Ah, you need to, oh. Yeah, you do a circle. So it looks like he's going to go down the uh, eastern side of the island following along with Urton and uh, Pat went down that way. Uh, the majority have gone down the western side. Il semblerait, donc nous dit qu'il semblerait que Jérémy choisira le côté est de l'île euh, comme avant Ayrton et comme Pat Lawless alors que la majorité de précédents avait choisi le côté ouest. Et alors vous aurez remarqué tout à l'heure, c'est pour cela aussi que nous rigolions, c'est qu'il nous a demandé, lui aussi, comme tous les autres, s'il valait mieux passer par l'est, contourner l'île par l'est ou par l'ouest. Évidemment, Don ne lui a pas répondu, parce qu'il ne peut pas répondre à ce genre de questions. Enfin, il ne peut pas répondre parce qu'il n'a pas le droit de répondre, vous l'aurez compris. À eux de choisir leur course c'est la manière de faire leur course. Et c'est amusant. Lui, euh, en revanche, Jérémy est le premier qui ne nous demande pas de nouvelles de Damien. Peut-être le savait-il déjà. Et il n'avait pas l'air déçu non plus avec sa position dans la flotte. Donc, euh les arrivées que nous avons eu dans ces dernières 24 48 heures je ne sais même plus à force de ne pas dormir on a un peu perdu le on a un peu perdu le la notion du temps il nous reste je crois cinq bateaux à arriver à partir de demain Ian Herbert Jones Elliot Smith sans doute les deux demain et ensuite le groupe euh, le dernier groupe avec euh, dans l'ordre de l'arrivée pour le moment, qui ne sera peut-être pas la définitive, Marc Sinclair, Damien Guillou et Arnaud Gans. Donc les deux Français seront euh, arriveront d'ici peut-être deux jours. Voilà pour les petites organisations. Maintenant, je me tais. Je vous laisse admirer Jérémy qui ne va pas tarder à nous quitter. Breeze is picking up the further out he goes. You are going to Cap Town now? Uh, yeah, I thought we might. Yeah, we'll follow be. along. We'll yeah. <laughs> if you can drop me to a lunch in between, yes. somewhere lunch in Cap Verde. Yes. Why do we always end up coming to the conversation about lunch? Because <laughs> yeah. it's in the Did you today. get breakfast? No. <laughs> okay. Anyway, see you later, Jeremy. Safe trip, eh? Have fun. I just let him go because I'm sure we annoy him a little bit. It's not before because of the lunch, it's just because we will not go to Cape Town with Jeremy. We'll see him there. Hold down, Monty! Hold down! Yeah, it looks very cool. Nice.
nice boat. Nice boat. Afrikaans. Okay, so that's it for today, and uh, tomorrow it'll be uh, Elliot and uh, Captain Coconut eventually. No, tomorrow it will be Elliot and Ian Herbert Jones. Oh, Ian Herbert Jones, and that's the right. Day and then after, Mark yeah. Sinclair. Okay, yep. Damien Guillou and Arno Gast, in yes. that order for the moment, but it might change, of course. Very good. Okay, Let's time go to, to go. It. Let's go to it. Say goodbye. <laughs>